Hi, I'm Nils Hartvig, and I'd like to give you a quick tour of the new Umbrago 7 user interface. Now, our goal with the new look and feel is to make it as fast and as simple as possible, making sure that editors can focus on getting their job done. Umbrago 7 isn't just a skin of Umbrago, but it's Umbrago reinvented. We've been through a lot of the different dialogues to find out how can you work with content as fast as possible. A great example of this is the way you create new content. In earlier versions of Umbrago, you had to right click the tree, click create, wait for a dialogue to appear, select a type, enter a name, click OK, wait for a page to appear, and then you could start. This is how it works in 7. One click, two clicks, and then we're in business. Now, working with content isn't just about text, it's also about images. We've done a lot to make sure that it's fun to work with images in Umbrago 7. A great example of this is the new media picker. It's much easier and simpler to work with uh, pictures and to select multiple pictures and to easily sort them afterwards. It's also really, really easy to upload new images. Let's say I want to insert a new image in my rich text editor. I can just drag and drop new images directly into the dialog and I can easily select my new image. It automatically gets scales just like you're used to. But media isn't just about images. It could also be about videos or uh, similar things from external services. This is also really easy in 7. Let's say I want to insert a YouTube video. All I need to do is to copy paste the URL and Umbrago automatically identifies the service and makes sure that it's really easy to insert that video with no technical knowledge. Umbrago isn't just used for small sites. It's also used for huge sites. And one of the things that we've been uh, working on in 7 is to make search uh, available everywhere and also making sure that search is really fast. Let's say I want to edit something uh, that's called, uh, that I know is called something like wonderful. So as I start type, Umbrella will automatically search all my content and all the sections that I have access to and I can immediately start working with the item. Whether that's just clicking it to edit it or whether that's to use the shortcut actions uh, from this button. Now, another thing, is also that the tree here is really good for organizing your content in a hierarchical way. But what if you have a lot of content that's actually not supposed to be in a tree structure? Let's say news. In Umbrago 7, you would have very, or before Umbrago 7, you would have really long trees. Uh, and sometimes you would have folders to make sure that you could place, for instance, news items in different years or months. In Umbrago 7, we made it possible to say that anything uh, below a note should be in a list view. So all these news items, rather than being in the tree, is in a nice list view that's really easy to, uh, to get an overview of. And of course, it's also uh, uh, possible to just start searching uh, directly in the list view. Another thing that's really nice about a list view is that you can also do bulk actions. So let's say that I want to uh, publish three news items at once. I can just really easy just click them and click publish, uh, and then I'm, in, uh, then I'm done. And of course, from anywhere in a list view, you can easily create new items, again, just with two clicks. Now, this is just a short overview of Umbrago 7. There's a lot of details, and there's going to be more videos coming out, including a nice video that's going to show you how Umbrago 7 is also optimized for tablets like an iPad and a Surface, making it really easy to edit content on the go. But for now, I encourage you to download Umbrago 7 and give it a, a test run. I'm pretty sure you won't regret it. It's by far the greatest thing we've ever done. Thanks for watching.